Hey Al, this is a really good uh, rhythm exercise, so why don't we go through it, just play a straight rhythm part all the way through, then I'll talk a little bit about it at the end. <laughs> things to, to take from that. First off, Mark Boland was awesome. I love him so much. <laughs> I'm sad every day that he's gone. But anyway, uh, a, a, a great guitar player to learn from, Mark. Although, I mean, he did weird stuff. Instead of doing... He would... He would... 
He did those boogie woogie things with these two fingers, which you still see. I see people do that, but no thanks. In fact, I'm more inclined to do it with my pinky, probably. So, uh, anyway, here's the tip part. Gosh, get to the point, man. Um, it, it's, it's pretty simple. It's A, uh, E, A. And then the, the little chorus is G, 5, A, 5. Now, one thing to know is if you listen to the, you know, they, they've released literally everything Mark ever put on tape is out now. So you, you can hear the bootleg, and now I think it's officially on the extended, the expanded version of Electric Warrior. You can hear the work in progress version, before the strings and stuff are on. And it's just Mark on a Strat doing the... Uh, so he does a G, A minor. Um, so it's an A minor there, not, not an A5. You know, I would play it as an A5. But I, I, it sounds to me with the, the final version with the strings, they didn't do the minor. They overdubbed. It sounds to me like a, a five chord or a major even. Um, but but I don't hear the minor on this 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 version. But you definitely hear it on the, you know, the outtake stripped down one, which is which is great by the way. That stripped down version is awesome. Um, but but there's some subtleties going on in the in the rhythm of it that that uh, you, you can work on if if you need work. Uh, for starters, if you watch this hand through the whole thing, this really never stops doing this. That's the rhythm. Right? Because you're just sitting on that E5. E string, A string, two four, two four on the. I'll do it real slow. Now you notice you're you're palming it there and muting it. You're not going. If you listen to the, you know, like the live Wembley Pool version from '72, he actually is doing that. He's live in concerts. He wants to get the teeny boppers. In. But on the album, it's much more subtle and laid back. And in fact, the. It sounds to me like the Stones stole this arrangement for it. it's only rock and roll. I mean, it's the same, it's the same arrangement. But anyway, um, you get uh, muting. On that A, on the D string, I'm oh, sorry, A string, this is what you're doing. just a rhythm exercise for this part. You know. stopping and you've got that just boogie woogie as Mark would have called it boogie <laughs> um, get that steady all the way through you should be able to carry this one you can do that one for 10 minutes man and then once you get into it it's actually neat to play 